What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Club Champ Premium Golfer's Shag Bag I picked up at Walmart for $13. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. Off to the side I also picked up some practice golf balls. We'll get into that in just a second. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions and find out if this Club Champ Premium Golfer's Shag Bag for $13 is any good. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, as you can see here, we have the Premium Golfer's Shag Bag from Walmart. As you can see in the background, we have the Nitro Ultimate Distance Golf Balls. These were fairly inexpensive, which is why I am designating them as practice balls. They, in fact, are golf balls for the course, so they should, in turn, make good practice balls. There are a couple of little takebacks with them that I'll go over here in just a minute, but I think this is a pretty safe option if you need golf balls for your shag bag, which is what we have here today and what we're going to be doing the unboxing and first impressions on. So what I really do appreciate here on the box, as you can see, are the very generous pictures of this shag bag itself and all of the features that comes with it. A little bit telling though is the netting looks a little bit left to be desired. It looks a little bit cheap and inexpensive. There aren't many parts as you can see. It's just a sort of nylon bag with a handle on top. I think the PVC pipe that screws onto the bottom of the bag that actually collects the golf ball off the ground is either in the bag or somewhere alongside the bag. But as you can see, it comes really nicely packaged here. There is no mess. There is no confusion taking this out of the box. Everything is together and it looks simple. And I am confident we're going to get this up and running in just a matter of minutes. Okay, so now that we have the bag out of the box and on the table, like I was saying previously, the PVC pipe that actually screws onto the bottom of the bag is inside the bag. That's a little bit concerning right off the bat because as you can see, the torso of the bag is roughly two and a half feet. I am six foot two. The PVC pipe is only in the netting area. It's only in the bag, which is probably two and a quarter feet in length. It's just a little bit shorter than the overall torso of the bag itself. Next up, before we get into the assembly, I quickly want to talk about the design of this golf bag. Now, yes, like you saw from the front of the box earlier, you do get a place to put a couple of tees if you're using uh, wood. Uh, you actually have three slots here and Walmart did give us three free wooden tees, which is awesome. But more importantly, what I really like to see here is this Velcro pocket at the top of the bag. Now on the front of the box, they do demonstrate using this for a glove, but I've noticed that when I go to the driving range, I've always got a wallet. I've got a case with my earbuds in it. I've got a cell phone, I've got car keys, and all of those things get in the way of my backswing and my follow through when I have those things in my pocket. So having this pocket here at the top for you know a wallet, or a couple of credit cards, keys. As you can see, my biggest concern doing the unboxing and first impressions was the mesh material was going to be lightweight, it was going to be fragile and would rip and tear easily. I was kind of disappointed at the quality of how this bag looked on the front of the box. But one thing here I can actually say Walmart did a good job at is ensuring that this bag is only a third mesh instead of being two thirds mesh or a whole mesh bag. As you can see, the mesh only encompasses roughly a third of the circumference of the bag itself. Now, this nylon material isn't necessarily premium by any means. It's not luxurious. It's not like a thick woven canvas that will resist punctures from small branches and twigs and things of that nature, but it is at least more durable than the mesh. And as you can see, it is only a third mesh and two thirds uh, this nylon material, I think, which will allow this bag to last just a little bit longer than had it been two-thirds mesh. So kudos to Walmart for that. I think that's great. As you can see, assembling this is extremely simple. 
Club Champ and Walmart did not include instructions or any type of user manual, but as you can see, it's just a plastic PVC type pipe with some threading on the inside of it. As you can see, that matches up with the threading at the bottom of the bag. It's pretty easy to figure out. You just screw it on. But one thing I'll actually note here is there is a small ridge at the end of the PVC pipe that we just screwed on that actually doesn't allow the mesh bag to go further down the core of the ball collector. And at the bottom of the ball collector is three steel pieces that actually are bent inward to keep the ball from falling back out of the PVC pipe. One thing I would compare these steel pieces to is an arm on a pair of sunglasses. They are bendable, so just be cognizant of that. Okay, so now that we've done an unboxing and first impressions of our premium shag bag for $13, I think it's important we take a look at the golf balls I purchased and why. And we're also gonna talk about some of the drawbacks to having these balls. Now you can find dedicated practice balls at Dick's Sporting Goods and other stores. I did not find dedicated practice balls at Walmart or Target for that matter, but they do sell recycled balls, so that is an option. Or the third option from a dedicated range ball or a recycled ball is just a really cheap knockoff ball. So here we have the Ultimate Distance Nitro Balls. I have them in pink, orange, yellow, and red. The pack of 12, as you can see in pink and red, were $5.97, so that's six and six, that's $12 for 24 balls. And then in the middle here, you can see that we have the Nitro Ultimate Distance Balls in orange and yellow. This was $19.97, it's a pack of 45 balls. Now I think your first impressions are going to be that these are for miniature golf, or maybe that they're even for chipping practice or putting practice, but no, these are regular, probably grade B type golf balls that you can hit with on a course. As you can see, the graphic on the back does talk about how it feels off the driver. Uh, it does talk about how it feels, you know, using a hybrid, irons, and then it also goes over some of the technology on the inside that pretty much is reassuring you these are not for practice and they are for play. Okay guys, so now that we've done an unboxing and first impressions and I've showed you everything you need to know about the quality of this bag, I definitely think this is something you can purchase and rely on for a year or longer as long as you're using it to pick up golf balls at the driving range and you're not being rambunctious with it or doing anything with it that it's not meant to be done with you're going to be able to utilize this for quite some time and get fairly good use out of it. I think I'm extremely impressed and happy with the build quality here. I do appreciate that it's one third mesh and two thirds nylon. I also appreciate the quality of this PVC piping here. I think the handle, even though it feels and sounds a little bit chintzy, will be good enough. I think it will hold up long enough there might be a little bit of a surprise, so we'll see how this fares in a few months. Uh, but so far, so good. I think uh, a 75 capacity bag is amazing. And not only that, I showed you some really inexpensive ball options to replenish this bag with. So last but not least, it's only fair we test it out in the cuff in real life. Let's go ahead and test it out in my living room on the carpet. Now, I know this isn't a golf course, but my carpet is not that thick of a shag. It should be pretty much consistent with what you'll find at the edge of a fairway or at the edge of a green or the fringe of a green, we call it in golf. So let's go ahead and try this out in my living room. I'll scatter a couple balls around and we will fill this bag up to the brim as well. And I'll give you my first impressions once we've done that. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so that was the unboxing and first impressions. You also saw how quickly it was to assemble this. In theory, you could actually pick this up on the way to the range, set it up once you get there, and start using it right away. However, today I figured I would demonstrate it for you. I did 
have the temptation to do just exactly that yesterday picking this up, but I figured, you know what? I owe you guys a review and you need to know if this is any good before using it. And I think it's fair to myself to know if it's any good before using it as well. So the good news here is as you can see, the bag is full of maybe 60 balls, I would say, roughly 58 balls. We do have a pack of 12 golf balls here we have not opened yet. So I put the pack of 12 pink golf balls in here and the entire pack of 45 golf balls in this bag. You can say that this is pretty much full. Now, another thing I wanna point out is because this does operate like a Pez candy dispenser, it does hold on to balls inside the tube. So you actually have to count the tube. Like I was saying, I've got roughly 60 balls in this bag here. I would say there's actually a little bit more room at the top here. So we could fit roughly 15, 20 balls, I think, just at the top of the bag alone here. As you can see, you've got your pocket here, which may be affected once the golf balls fill up at the top of the bag. And you can also see that we've got the T slots here, which I'm not utilizing currently. But as you can see, the balls are jutting out of this plastic or this uh, mesh here, and they are not poking through. So that's really good to see. Let's go ahead and just pick up a couple of golf balls here. So as you can see, it does make a little bit of a, a noise, but I would say this does a fantastic job of picking the balls up. And last but not least, what I quickly want to demonstrate here is how easy it is to lean the bag up against something. As you can see, it doesn't have any sort of back support, but if you do sort of position it or balance it at maybe half the bag of balls, you can actually get it to lean up against something confidently. So this is pretty much to demonstrate the structural integrity of the bag. I would say I'm pretty impressed, and I think that is mainly to do with the fact it is two thirds nylon and one third mesh. Anyways guys, that has been an unboxing and first impressions of the Club Champ Premium Golfer's Shag Bag I picked up at Walmart for $13. Today you witnessed an unboxing and first impressions. My overall rating of this bag is high. I do think it will save you money over the next year and a half. After that, you might wanna replace this because I think for $13 it won't last any longer than that. But hey, you know what? There were a couple of really nice surprises here. I think the fact that it was a third web and two thirds nylon will definitely make this more durable and enjoyable to use in the long run. You don't have to duct tape the webbing together to keep the balls from spilling out. So that was nice to see. And you also get some premium features here, like the glove uh, pocket at the front of the bag itself that can be used for other things like car keys and wallets and headphones. So really happy to have had the option to get this for only 13 bucks. Now I can go to the driving range at no cost. I can hit as many times as I want and I can get some exercise in the process. I am super pleased with this purchase. And I also showed you the golf balls I picked up for under 30 bucks. I picked up 70 Nitro Ultimate Distance Golf Balls from Walmart, a pack of 45 and two packs of 12. That was $30, the bag was 15. So you're looking at 45 bucks for this entire setup to save hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars in the coming months practicing at your local driving range. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoy this unboxing and first impressions. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Also hit the bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube and be sure to share this video with friends and family and tell them we review items from places like Walmart, Target, Dick's Sporting Goods, Best Buy, and online stores as well, like Amazon and other stores. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Thank you for your continued support, and I will see you in the next video. My name is John. Thank you so much again for tuning in.